What's happening, everybody? It's Terry. I wanted to go over how to add a course um, and maybe start showing you how to add modules and populate uh, items underneath modules. So this will be a fake class I'm creating. I'm on the dashboard. I'm logged in as me. I go over here to the right where it says start a new course. Any guesses what that does? It starts a new course. So you click on start a new course, give it a name. Um, I'm going to call this one uh, Boom Shaka Laka um, Fall 2020. The short name Boom Shaka Laka. I should all caps to be formal about that. Okay, and that. Uh, Leave that as a default set to private, okay? So create the course. So then you create the course, you wait, and the course pops up with the default, kind of a, not the dashboard, I don't wanna say that, with default interface, how you're gonna look at it. Along the left-hand navigation side here, there's all kinds of stuff. Like this is the robust part, which, um, is actually can be very scary, but as you develop um, a competency for the different parts, um, you can add these other elements and choose which ones students see and which ones they don't. One of the most important ones, most popular ones, um, is to create a new module. So we're going to go somewhere in this area. Oh, here it is. Create a new module, the ginormous button in the middle. Click on that, and a module is basically kind of a unit or a section that you would like to isolate. So if I call this um, unit one, right, the history of boom shaka laka, I can either lock it until they finish a previous module, or I can leave it unlocked and go back and lock it later, right? You have a choice there. So now by doing that, I've created a module that has unit one. So then kind of the workflow here, if you, if you can choose to add files, right? And, and if that works for you, great. Or you can hit this little plus sign and add either an assignment, a quiz, a file, page, discussion, put a, a text header on here. So if I wanna do text headers, let's say I wanna, in that module, I wanna have a notes section. I can choose to indent at one level and add that. Well, now I've got unit one and then the header or uh, this part allows me to kind of differentiate within the model. So then I hit plus again, and now maybe I don't want a header. Maybe I do want another header. I want to um, whatever, call it test, indent one level. That's gonna go back to that default. And then I can, um, I can add this to my file okay so as i'm as i'm adding um i want to keep in mind the unit design so click maybe i don't want a text header now maybe i want to add a page i want to add a new page the page name is um boom shaka laka notes and I'm gonna indent that maybe two levels and I add that item and by default it puts it down at the bottom. So how do I edit the page? Well, so if you watch on the side over here, I'm gonna click on the Boom Chakalaka notes and it's gonna change from the home to pages. Now it's just like your Google Sites page or working on in web design. You can edit it by clicking the edit button and then you've got the rich content editor, right? So you can, do things like put your titles in here and, you know, have do fun stuff, right? So you can uh, put your title in here. You can change both the uh, color of the text, how big the text is, right? And um, however you want that to look. And then perhaps, you know, one of the, one of the best uh, things that, not best, but a strong recommendation that I would have is that if you are going to put a video in there to support um, 
to support your instruction or you want them to watch a video on either that you made or on your notes, um, what you can do is um, you can grab the embed code, right? There's a there's a, a code that you can get from YouTube and and click on this insert media button. And instead of just clicking the link to the video, which takes the students out of Canvas and to the video site, you can embed the video and paste that video code in the window and click OK. And now you've got a title and a video that keeps the students within the page, within your module, within Canvas. I hope that makes sense. And once you've created your, once you've created the template for how your units or modules are going to go, you can duplicate those over and over again, and then populate uh, the whatever you want to be in the module. So let's say I'm going to get rid of this. Um, I'm going to get rid of the boom shakalaka notes, and I'm maybe going to add um, another uh, text header. And I'll call this one uh, quizzes. And I'm going to indent that one level. I'm going to add it. So let's say in each module, and maybe now this is going to be the template, I'm going to edit this and just name this unit, call it unit one. Okay. And, and who knows what it's going to be called after that, update the module. So maybe I have these things in a module. Then I can click on these three dots. And I could duplicate that, and there's a copy of it. And then I can just go in and edit and change from unit one to unit two, update the module. Now I have unit one with notes and quizzes, unit two with notes and quizzes, and I can um, I have I have somewhere to uh, some a, a, a way to follow workflow within the units like a template. So then uh, lastly, each unit can be public or not public. So if I don't want unit two to be seen by the students, you have a couple of choices, uh, one of which is to only publish the units you want students to see. So if I go back to my home page, I zip over here and look at the student view, right? So student view, the little glasses thing, the pink bar shows up on the bottom you will only see unit one because that's all that's published. All right, good luck. That's how you add a class.